Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing, finally, after like two months after it has launched, I'm gonna do a review on this palette right here. Also going to do a demonstration of how I got this eye look. And also going to compare it to this palette right here. This is the Morphe 35O. So I really like how this look came out. I really wanted to do something like kind of out of my comfort zone, but not too much. I think like the next look I'm using, I'm going to use with this is going to be like completely out of my comfort zone. So I hope that you like this video. Hope that it helps you decide like if you want to buy this or not. And yeah, and let's start the video. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the demonstration. So I did this eye off camera. I'm actually refilming this because I didn't really like the way the first look came out. Well, I liked it, but I feel like it was too basic. So I did this look. I really like the way this came out. Like I feel like it's so pretty. So I'm just going to show you guys what I did on the other eye. So of course, I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette. And the first shade I'm going to use is this very like mustardy yellow shade right here. And this is going to be my transition shade. So I'm going to put that pretty high up in my transition. In my transition. <laughs> I'm going to put that pretty high up in my crease. So I am swirling my brush a few times and then just tapping off the excess. And I'm bringing that all the way in my inner corner. to take is this like pukey brown I think that's how she described it I don't really know um, I'm just gonna take that and put it right in my crease That is in the crease and you can kind of see it I'm going to take this really really like fiery red shade I do have the little card um, of the names but I'm just not saying them because I feel like there's kind of no point because they're not actually on the palette you know what I'm saying so I'm just going to put that right on top of the other color that we just used So the next one I'm going to take is this shade right here, and I'm just going to use that shade to deepen up my crease a bit. Ooh. I'm going to put this shade a little, like lower than the other red we put down. So now for the last colors that are going to go in the crease, I'm going to take this shade and this shade. So I'm now just going to cut my crease with some concealer and I'm kind of going to set that with some translucent powder. So now I'm going to take this NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium. Um, I just kind of started using this. I'm not really sure what it does yet. I just kind of like to use it. color I'm going to take these two shades I'm just going to mix them together after my bottom lash line I'm first going to take some concealer then of course you have to set it Now that we have this going on now for the inner corner which is my favorite part I love this inner corner I'm first going to take this really pretty blue shade right there and then I'm going to put literally like the tiniest bit of this shade right like on top but like right 
there. I'm not going to mix them. I'm just going to try to put the gold shade like on top a little bit just so it makes it a little bit like The lower um, lash line, I'm just going to take just this color and I'm just going to kind of like pack it all under there. I'm just going to pack it all under there and then I'm just going to kind of like blend it out a little bit. Okay, so for lashes, I'm going to take the Makeup Shack Lashes in Dragon Eye. Then I'm going to do my whole face and then I'll be back with a comparison of other Morphe palettes and then I'll tell you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so I finished my makeup. This is what it looks like. I am really digging this. This looks so good. Like, yes. Um, Lip color is Kylie Cosmetics Commando maybe. Something like that. Like, I'm going to put it in the description box, but I have to show you guys one thing about my makeup. Look. Look at my highlight. Are you, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It just looks so nice and like, I just love the way my makeup came out today. Okay, so, okay, so first I'm just gonna do like an overview of the palette because I haven't really talked about it. So basically this is what the palette looks like. Um, it's just like all white and it has like this like metallic like lettering or like reflective lettering or whatever you wanna say. On the back it just says Morphe times Jaclyn Hill and this is like white and this is um, a cardboard type of packaging and then when you open it up so when I first got the palette I wasn't really interested in it um, just because like it looked like a basic palette to me but then like I started watching videos and like tutorials and I was like oh my goodness um so i got it on the second relaunch of the product that's why like i'm doing this video a little late i actually wanted to get the urban decay heat palette and then i looked at this palette and i was like hmm like i feel like it's kind of like the same it's not the same concept but it has like a lot of the same shades um plus more so i was like okay like i'll just get this one and honestly like this palette is so like nice like when i got it in person i was just like wow like this is it's just way prettier like in person than like in the pictures and i feel like this is like a great like everyday palette it does have pops of color down here in this section but like the main palette is kind of like those warm orange like brown reddish colors so i really really like that so this palette has 38 shades i believe and it was $35 but um, Morphe shipping like if you're just getting this I think they do have like a free shipping above like a hundred dollars or something like that but it's like I'm not gonna spend a hundred dollars just to get free shipping unless like I really want like a lot of things you know so it was $45 with shipping and then I used like a discount code which was like three dollars so it came out to $42 in total for this palette it's kind of like almost double the price of Morphe's other eyeshadow palettes because this eyeshadow palette was $22, I think. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, so off the bat, this is obviously like a plastic type deal and this is more cardboard. Um, I do prefer this one just because like I feel like it's more protective. So, I am comparing these but because they do say that this palette was made with like a whole new formula like it's completely different than all the other morphe eyeshadows so of course right when you look at them they are pretty much the same they're not the same but they have like the same concept um 35 shades and like no mirror type deal big palette so now i'm just going to swatch like a few shades like three or four just so you guys can see like the difference between the two palettes so the first shade i'm going to swatch is that oh you can't really see that but the first shade i swatched is this like yellow mustardy color that i use for my transition shade so now i'm just going to pick a it's not really similar but a shade from the 35o palette you can't really tell because I kind of blend it with my skin. I should have really picked better colors. But um, basically, like, off the bat, you can already, like, I can feel the difference. These eyeshadows do feel, like, a lot better and high quality. Like, they just feel 
like creamier and like um, just a better feeling. Like these, these eyeshadows, they feel nice. Like they have good pigmentation and everything, but they just feel like a tad bit drier. Like they just always have felt dry to me. So next I'm going to swatch like two of the shimmers. So I'm gonna swatch this one. This is from, ooh, ooh, that's pretty. This is from the Jacqueline Hill palette. And this one is from the Morphe 35O palette. So obviously the Jacqueline Hill one is like a lot more like bam in your face. The Morphe one is still really nice and like pigmented and the Morphe shimmers do feel really, really soft. It's just the mattes that feel kind of like dry and stuff. So basically my thoughts on this palette, was it worth it? I think so. I think so because honestly like I'm going to take this palette with me like everywhere like I'm probably going to use this palette like every day. I really like a lot of the transition shades in here like I feel like when when I find like a really good transition shade for me like I stick with it and like it's just really pretty like all the colors like blended out so nicely it doesn't have a lot of fallout or like they're not like really powdery or anything like that. You can just make so many looks like I don't know like I just really really like it um so I do think this was worth it I'm, there's not a big like humongous difference I don't think between these two like formulas and palettes and stuff this one is just like a bit more like creamy but this one it does still kind of like blend out the same it still has like great pigment and stuff like that I feel like the Jaclyn Hill palette is like a little upgrade from their regular formula but the only thing I don't like is that this is white. I don't like that at all because it's so, it gets so dirty. I mean, you can wipe it off, I guess, but like it can get so dirty like really easily. But I mean, this palette is dirty too, but I just haven't like wiped it off. I feel like you can actually like wipe this off and you can't do that with this. So those are my thoughts. Um, I do really like the Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh, all the products that I use on my face will be down below, like always. And I think that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video.